Here's how you calibrate the AE2 ESC without a castle link. Hook up your battery, turn on your radio, and hold full throttle. And turn on the ESC while you're holding the throttle. Keep it held down until you hear a series of beeps. We want the second set. Okay, this lets us know we're in calibration mode. One beep, a pause, and one beep means section one, option one, which is for nickel batteries. So I'm going to hit the hold brake, select no. Now we're on section one, option two, which is lipo, which is what I want. So I'll hold the throttle for yes. Two beeps and a pause and a beep is section two, option one, zero drag brake, select no. Section two, option two is 15% drag brake, I'll select no. Section two, option three, 25% drag brake, I'll select no. Section 2, option 4 is 40% drag brake, I'll select no. Section 2, option 5, 50% drag brake, I'll select no. Section 2, option 6, 100% drag brake, I'll select yes. Section 3, option 1 is reverse lockout. That means you have to let it sit in neutral for a couple seconds before you get reverse. And I don't want that, so I'll select no. Section three, option two is no reverse. It's forward and brake only. I will select no. Section three, option three is forward with instant reverse. It's the one that I want and what most people will be using. Select yes. And those tones let us know that everything is tuned and we're calibrated and ready to go without a castle link. Easy to do in the field if it's quiet enough anyway. This is how you program your Axial AE2 ESC without a castle link. Hook up your battery. Turn on your transmitter, hold the trigger full throttle, and turn on the ESC. We should get another set of tones coming here, but oh, I got the wrong radio. Don't.